Little Rock police are on the lookout for a man who has been driving around the capital city exposing himself to women. Several women have come forward with similar stories of walking alone when being targeted. Our Haley Brooks spoke exclusively with two victims who are determined to stop this from happening to more women. Haley, are there certain streets that this is happening on? Bob, Little Rock police say this is mostly happening on or near Kavanaugh. But today, one of the victims I spoke to said she was walking right here on Lee when she was targeted, and it all happened in the middle of the day. Hey, that guy did that to me, too. Several women in Little Rock say they were out walking when an SUV slowly started pulling up next to them, rolling the window down with the driver exposing himself from the waist down. And as soon as I got over my shock, he asked me, do you want some more of this, and then drove off. Ryland Steele says this happened to her in April, but since then, a dozen women have come forward with the same account, different locations. Two happened the same day this week. I don't necessarily think that he has this planned out. I think he's just, unfortunately, a disturbing opportunist. Steele says the man was wearing a bandana across his face with a ball cap on, so only his eyes were visible. Another victim, Deanna Jones, says she also couldn't see his face. He is definitely using the current mask as an opportunity because he, his face was covered. Both Jones and Steele urge walkers to be aware of your surroundings and don't let your guard down. It had potential to be very a very dangerous situation. Both victims I spoke to said they're now taking precautions when walking like carrying mace, and they hope to spread awareness in order to catch this guy. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Haley Brooks. Bob, back to you.